Hello, and welcome to Maastricht University. Thank you for your interest in the Bachelor of Global Studies. In the coming few minutes, I'll give you an overview of the program. And I'd like to start with a case that illustrates how complex societal problems requires to go beyond national borders and beyond the confines of individual disciplines. Piracy in the Gulf of Aden off the Somali coast was a news item for a number of years, with the first big incidents occurring in 2007 and 2017 being the first year with no cases of recorded piracy in this maritime region. While the Western media often focus primarily on the acts of piracy and the multinational response to secure this major shipping route, the causes of piracy garnered less attention. The Somali civil war and the collapse of the central government left the rich fishing grounds in Somali waters unpatrolled. Large foreign fishing trawlers started to harvest these waters, depriving many fishers and their families of income. This is not a problem that's limited to Somalia, and next to the admittedly extreme response of piracy, a far more frequent result of collapsing fishing communities has been outmigration towards Europe. So while this has often been treated as a story that focused on upholding international law and forming a robust security response to thwart rising maritime crime, it is also very much a story about the ability of communities to generate enough income to live their lives and raise their families in good conditions. Studying such a case includes policy responses to deal with migration waves, development programs to support communities in need, business responses such as changes in shipping, changes in international regulations regarding maritime security, in addition to the military initiative. In order to get a comprehensive picture in such a case, you would need a range of disciplines, including history, anthropology and sociology, economics and development studies, migration studies, public policy and governance. And of course, you would need to go beyond the worldview of the global north and listen to the voices of the local communities. Global Studies is a program that gives you both of these components. It will teach you how to work interdisciplinarily, while also showing you how perspectives differ within and between Global North and Global South. Global Studies is a three-year bachelor launched this year as a collaboration of all faculties across Maastricht University with the primary goal of addressing complex global problems. As you can see in this broad program overview, every semester is thematically dedicated to a particular social challenge. After the interest semester, we focus on environment and economy, migration and citizenship, tolerance and beliefs, peace and justice, and finally, learning in the 21st century. These themes do not just represent broad social debates. They also provide an opportunity to earn marketable skills. One of our motivations for developing global studies was a pattern we had noticed in many other bachelor programs. When approaching a topic like environment and economy, they would often give students monodisciplinary courses, one course on macroeconomics, another course on ecosystems dynamics, and so forth. The hard work of bridging these disciplines would often be left to the students instead of being the subject of the courses. In Global Studies, we are making the interdisciplinarity transparent by inviting scholars from different disciplines to teach in a company year. Every semester theme brings together experts from different faculties. They have had the challenge of developing the course together, and they will show you how they build bridges between their respective disciplines before putting you to work on building your own. The integration does not just cover the different disciplines, but also extends to our methods and skills track. I'll give you an example in a short while. Global Studies includes a strong emphasis on preparing you for the labor market, and includes a track that teaches you professional skills and essential skills for global citizens, in addition to the more traditional academic skills. To help you make the most of it, we're pairing you up with a personal mentor who will accompany you throughout the three years in your program. During your monthly meetings, your mentor serves as your discussion and reflection partner. She or he will help you better understand your strengths, the skills you want to develop further, and the steps you want to take next. In the piracy example, I've raised the point that it is essential for us to go beyond the views and perspectives of the global north, not as a replacement, but to contrast them with valid views from the global south. So we are taking three steps that will help you as a global citizen. We have challenged ourselves to augment the readings with voices from the global south. We are bringing stakeholders from the global south to Maastricht to interact with you, teach individual components and develop projects. And we are sending you on a one month field study 
to the Global South as part of the fifth semester on Peace and Justice. During this field study, you will travel to a destination in Latin America, Africa or Asia and work together with fellow students and an expert to answer an important research question. So how do you learn in Global Studies? Every theme takes up an entire semester of about 20 weeks worth of classes. And the structure of the semester is based on the approach professionals and analysts would take when facing a complex problem. In phase one, you start out by reviewing the essential readings from the different disciplines that are relevant to the theme this semester is dedicated to. So in environment and economy, you would have readings on environmental sustainability, but also from different social sciences that aim to solve the problems we are currently facing. The behavioral sciences have advice on how to avoid unsustainable consumption patterns, economics offers approaches on pricing negative externalities like pollution, and law gives us ways of encouraging constructive global collaboration in combating environmental concerns that threaten us all. Towards the end of this phase, you will be working on developing your own definitions and understandings of key concepts, key models and theories, key schools of thought that are already out there and that are already shaping the discussion. In phase two, you will put your theoretical knowledge to practical use, working on a particular project or question. First exploring and understanding the problem itself, and then coming towards a solution, which in phase three, you then communicate outwards. After the first 16 weeks, we take a moment to reflect, understand what we have learned and what you're taking away from this topic in terms of knowledge and skills. The capstone of each theme is an intensive four week project period. You will be working on a larger problem that encompasses everything you have learned in the semester. The methods and skills tracks run parallel to the first three phases and are aligned with the content. Instead of giving you, say, a separate statistics class, we let you learn quantitative methods when it is useful for you in the theme. In an environment and economy, there is a week when it will be useful for you to understand how particular countries are performing in protecting or polluting the environment. That is a natural point for you to go off and learn the necessary tools and statistics and visualization to calculate and show whether a country has gotten better over time and whether it is outperforming other countries in its region. Learning essential methodological tools as you are trying to solve real world questions helps you understand their relevance and usefulness. The same happens in our skills track. Remember how I mentioned that you will need to communicate your results at the end of the semester? That's a wonderful moment to work on your presentation and public speaking skills or to practice convincing decision makers. An essential skill that deserves special mention is your ability to speak foreign languages. We want you to learn a language in addition to your native tongue in English. That's why we are including four semesters of language classes and global studies. You can continue working on a foreign language you have already started learning or begin on a new language of your choice. And the integration goes both ways. As your language skills develop, we will be asking you to read in that language on subjects relating to the current semester theme to help you see how societies and different linguistic groups look at the same problem with different eyes. So why should you invest three years in the Bachelor of Global Studies? The year 2020 has shown us that the world's most challenging problems don't fit into one box, can't be approached with the knowledge of just one discipline, and can't be solved by individual countries on their own. But interdisciplinarity is a hard skill and intercultural collaboration matters. If you want to make a contribution towards solving complex societal problems, this skill set gives you access to interesting careers. Consider global studies as the starting point for your career. You pick up interdisciplinary analytical and global citizenship skills, and you move on to your next step, a one or two year master program. Given that you come from an interdisciplinary background, you would usually pick an interdisciplinary master, but something that allows you to focus on topics and issues of interest to you. For example, you might pick a master in the field of development studies, offering a combination of economics, business, innovation, public policy, sociology and law. Once you have completed your master, you would then start working in the public or private sector, contributing to solving complex societal problems such as the examples I have placed on the left. These aren't problems that we have made up ourselves. They are a small collection from over 100 problems recently selected by an expert commission advising the Dutch government on the challenges for the Netherlands, Europe and the world in coming years. 
None of these can be solved using knowledge from any single discipline, but all of these matter. And government organizations, the civil society, and businesses all will need staff with analytical training who can advise on policy, who can campaign for change, who can develop projects and products, and who can help steer their organization towards solutions. To show you that we aren't just making up this market demand, I'd like to show you some of the letters of support for global studies we have received from a variety of employers. Before launching a new bachelor in the Netherlands, you first have to show evidence that there is demand for the graduates, that this program pays off for its students. So we reached out to a number of potential employers across all the sectors. Our first letter of support comes from the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs and emphasizes their need for graduates who can understand the interconnections between global, regional and national problems. Impact Hub Amsterdam, a business network of sustainable entrepreneurs and innovators, pointed out that they are looking particularly for people who are not stymied by disciplinary boundaries, but instead can draw on many perspectives to connect the dots. And Amnesty International identified a particular need for an interdisciplinary and intercultural perspective, something that would be useful for verifying and responding to human rights violations. If you are still listening and think Global Studies might be for you, then stick around and ask any questions. But more importantly, come and experience what Global Studies is like. During the current academic year, we will offer several experience days that allow you to sample the atmosphere in the program. You will have the opportunity to work on a question from one of the Global Studies teams together with fellow students and a tutor. You'll be able to see the places where you will study and ask our student ambassadors how they are experiencing the program and student life. We'll offer virtual and in-person versions of the experience days and we'll post the first dates to sign up soon at mustarduniversity.nl slash events. Meanwhile, you can already join the community of all students studying here at our host faculty FASOS on Facebook and Instagram. It's a great opportunity to meet our students, find out what moves them, what they are working on, and join the discussion. If you do think Global Studies might be your thing, go ahead and apply. Global Studies is a selective bachelor, so next to your secondary school diploma, we'll ask for a motivation letter and essay to help in the selection. Application for the 2021 cohort of Global Studies is already open and runs until March 1st. Thank you for listening to this presentation. We appreciate your time and interest, and we're looking forward to all of your questions.